So I'm here planting hellebores. I was gifted some money over Christmas and I went and was very indulgent. And some I've already planted are reaping the benefits of the local pollinators are already finding them and pollinating them. So this is great fun. These are primulas that I got from a friend. So I'm having a great time. Look at some of these. Just heavenly colors. Gorgeous hellebores. Anyway, that was um, a Christmas present of money and I was told I had to spend it on something I would really love to have. Everybody's coming to oversee me doing this. Isn't that right? My scarf is hanging in the tree because I got uh, too hot digging my holes. So you can see there's loads of hellebores here. More, actually. Loads of more hellebores. And some real beauties. Look at that. Some gorgeous ones. And I love these. Look at the... Oh! I disturbed a pollinator. I beg your pardon. Look at the trim on this. Just gorgeous. So I'm sure a pollinator will come back. But that's one of the reasons I'm planting all these hellebores is for the pollinators to come and have some winter feeding. Besides having ivy and other things, the um, Harmonia, no, it's not Harmonia. I always call it Harmonia. Look at that. Look at that. This is why I'm planting these. This is exactly why I'm planting these. This one I got last year and I planted it and it's called Cinderella. Oh, look. And Cinderella is serving her purpose. Look at that. Oh, and by the way, that's an Irish wild bee. You can see it's black and it's tiny. So it's a wild Irish black honeybee, a native species. It's not been hybridized. And Ovenmit wants to talk to me now. But look at that. Oh, I spooked him away. My fault. Come over to this one. Look. Ooh, I'm gonna fall over. Look at this. There we go. Another beautiful hellebore. Let's see if I can pick it up. Oh, no. And the cat came over. Anyway. <laughs> All the bees are coming out to play. Or feed, rather, should I say. And all these primulas, all of these are different varieties that were given to me by a guy who breeds them. So this is kind of like my spring gift bed, if you will. <laughs> I'm going to start uh, dividing my special snowdrops up and putting them in here as well. But this is just the beginning of hopefully years and years of work. This one is particularly beautiful, this one. Look at that, because it's beautiful on top. But look at that, just gorgeous. And then this buttery one. Now, that high pitched whining noise are the long tailed tits. I love them. They look like Ewoks. You hear a high pitched. That's the long tailed tits. Most of the time you can't see them. Anyway, those are euphorbia. There is some lovely ferns. Yeah, I'll be planting more ferns along here. Ferns I've got, when they get big, I'll divide and be planting in along here. So it's going to slowly become, during the spring, it'll be full of hellebores, snowdrops, primulas. As you can see, I'm slowly building and dividing my collection because when you first get those, they'll clump up and then you divide them and you spread them around. Now, excuse me, don't t dig what I've just planted. It's not a good plan. I'll include, this was another Christmas present and um, it's a great kneeling pad, but <laughs> it 
Inca and Java absolutely love this. So I feel this Christmas present wasn't for me, but was for these two in gardening. <laughs> anyway, I've got two more to plant. I've just dug one hole for this beauty. Look at that. Anyway, working away in the garden with my canine companions. Isn't that right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> One day it'll look beautiful.